everybody seems to like the sob stories. They seem to like, and you know, you know. So I'll give you another little tale of debauchery. But um, this is just like scraping the surface of my fucked up stories. I made a lot of bad choices in my life, and like, you don't want to get me started. But anyway, um, and I'm not trying to brag either, cause it's, I'm you know whatever. But um. Like, fucking, so I made this video the other day where I'm talking about how, like, you know, N.A. is fucked up and, like, how I don't do hard drugs and I used to do coke and pills and stuff. And, like, uh, luckily I never did heroin. Like, that was something that, like, I fucking <laughs> thankfully avoided. But, um, I, uh, I heard that heroin's come, like, the when you get off it, that's, like, bullshit. It's not train spotting. It's not, like, you're not in a room, like, ah! Like, that's a, that's a myth. Like, I heard it's, like, a, like, a bad cold or something. Like, you're just kind of, like, laid out for a couple of days with the sniffles, and, like, you, know, you might be itchy or something. But, um, the real, okay, so here, I'll start the story. So, in L.A., fucking, everybody wants something from you, fucking, like, everyone you meet's gonna fucking try to, like, weasel you out of some cash and shit. Anyway, so, fucking Marissa goes to this psychiatrist to get... Um, a refill on her, well, well, she was getting prescribed at a van here in Michigan for, you know, just, like, sleeping and, like, you know, every once in a while, like, a Tylenol or something. I think most people are prescribed that kind of shit. It's not like Marissa has, like, he doesn't take it every day. But, um, this is what's fucked up about it, because she, we go to L.A., she, Ativan's, like, you know, 10 milligrams of Ativan's, like, nothing. You, you need to take, like, five of them to, like, if you want to get, like, fucked up, like, I don't know, whatever. One is, like, I don't know, you barely notice it. But, um, so that, you know, it's a good, it's a good benzodiazepine. We, they need to outlaw that shit. Anyway, so, like, fucking, not really, but, um, so, Marissa goes to see this, this therapist in fucking, in L.A., and he prescribes her 60 fucking clonopins that are, like, fucking strong. And, like, when I was, I used to be in Chicago, and I used to, like, sell some shit. And, like, this girl, she used to always trade me, um, like, three clonopins for, like, a gram of something. And, um, like, and so I was doing clonopins a lot in Chicago, and, you know, that shit gets you fucked up. And, like, uh, it's kind of, it's, I feel like the most, like, a high of, like, any pill almost. I mean, Oxycontin's fucked up, too. And, like, you know, you do enough, like, you know, Vicodin and shit. But, anyway, this thing, I mean, clonopin, you take one, and you're like... So, anyway. But she was never giving, this girl that I used to trade the shit with, um, she, she wouldn't give it to me, like, enough for me to get hooked on it. So Marissa comes home with, like, fucking 60 clonopins and, like, two refills on it. And the, the, each one, just one of them is, like, fucked up. So, like, it's, it's way too many, like, fucking for her. She doesn't take them. So, you know, there's this, like, fucked up family shit that I was dealing with a couple of months ago. Is when we weren't posting videos. It was toward the end of it. Um, you know... Anyway, and you know, the reason why I, I was reminded of this story, I just want to, like, pause the story and say that, um, it's because I did a video earlier, a video response to Tack, and Tack fucking had the balls to fucking say, I miss you guys, like, fucking, like, and that's almost, like, fucking the reason we came back. I was like, shit, man, like, I was like, Marissa, look, like, they want us to, like, make more videos. It was, like, really nice. And not a lot of people have the balls to give a compliment. I noticed on, I think it was Gizzard the Wizard's page, on one of her videos, someone left a comment that was like, I don't leave compliments because I'm afraid of not getting one in, in return. <laughs> okay, that's so stupid. That means you have no balls. Anyway, so hate me, fucking... Yeah, you got him. Anyway, uh, so back to the story. So I was dealing with this fucked up family shit. We were writing all these screenplays, and, like, we weren't making videos, and, um, you know, we are just like, I was just dealing with all this stressful crap, and, um, I was working on this office spec that I used to apply to this fucking writing fellowship at NBC that I still, like, I, I won't hear it from, you know, back until November, like, what if I get it? I don't think I will, but anyway, um, fucking, I was taking, like, you know, one every, I, at first I was like, alright, I'm gonna take a clonopin every two days. So I was doing that, because, you know, I, I've been through it with this shit, and I know that, it, you know, it can be sinister, and if you take shit every day, that's fucked up. I mean, every other day is the way to do it if you're doing anything. But, um, fucking, so, it slowly, like anything, just became every day. And, and it was every night, and then it was every day, and night. And it was like two during the day, and two at night. Alright, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, because benzodiazepines are the most 
fucked up drug withdrawal bullshit in the world. Google it. Oh my god. So, like, so I'm like, I was just starting to notice, like, I was taking way too many Clonopins every day. Because there was, like, fucking so many of them in the fucking medicine cabinet. So, I was like, um, oh, it's the worst. So, I noticed I was really, like, off balance emotionally. Like, I was, like, just weird. I, like, I was... Shit was weird. I was just not feeling right. And I was like, this is fucked up. I'm like, oh my god, I'm taking, like, a benzo every day. I heard that, that I heard that's bad. You know? Like, <laughs> and so, um, so I just quit cold turkey. Alright, that's fucked up. There's, like, a hundred-page manual on how to wean someone off of fucking benzos, like, online. It's like this, like... Like, that everyone uses. Like, fucking benzodiazepines, they get in your fucking head, they get in your... F- f- the system, it's like the most fucked up bullshit, come down, withdrawal bullshit. Not a come down, it's withdrawal. I mean, the fucking meaning of the word withdrawal. Oh my god. I'm tripped for like... Alright, so anyway, I caught up cold turkey, I'm like, fuck Clonopin. Fuck that shit. Alright, so the first day, I was like... like ugh. I like go for a walk every day, and I remember being like... <sighs> Like, it was just weird. I was just, like, <laughs> like shaky and shit. And um, the second day, I was, like, puke. I was heaving. Like, I couldn't eat. And I was, like, <clears throat> I was, like, on the couch. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't write. I was just, like, <laughs> it was the most fucked up shit of all time. I, I swear, I was, like, just, like, rocking in my seat all day. Like, it was, like, a bad trip for, like, weeks. This shit lasted fucking forever. I look it up on Google. People are, like, yeah, I, I was on Clonopin for, like, a month, and then I, I quit, and, like, I still don't feel good. And that was, like, six months ago. And I was, like, oh, my God. Like, what have I gotten myself into? Until I walked into this shit. Like, before when I would do drugs, I kind of, like, knew what I was getting into. But this shit, it's prescribed. She was prescribed it. I mean, granted, it wasn't my prescription, but this shit's, like, fucking in a medicine bottle. I don't know. So, anyway, fucking, like, uh, the, the third day. Alright, so, <laughs> they say it's around, worse around the second, third day. That's when it starts to get bad. It was fucking horrifying for about a week or two. Two? Oh, my God. I mean, I was shaking. I was, like... I, we'd go to the grocery store, and I was, like, paranoid, like, the, like, the guy wheeling, like, the shit by me, he was gonna, like, hit me, I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, confused, if I, like, heard sounds outside of our apartment, I'd be, like, people are trying to get into the apartment, like, it was fucked up, and, like, um, and so I was just, like, all right, wait it out, wait it out, I couldn't do anything, I was fucking, like, incapacitated, and I was mad at myself for that, it was fucked up, I mean, I was incapacitated for, like, a week or two, and the thing is, is fucking when I came out of it, that's when we started making videos again, because I felt energized, finally, when this shit was over, it took about a month, but, like, uh, during that time, all I could do was, like, alright, I went through the Google paint, I, I, I looked up modern painters on Google, and I went through the painters from, like, A to Z, looking at their paintings, and, like, um, like, Googling, like, as many, like, just, like, looking at all the Google image, uh, search results, and, um, fucking, like, uh, and then all I could do was read about, I don't know why, but Vincent Gallo, I was like, this guy's fucking retarded, I was just, like, like, watching interviews with him, like, reading, reading all this shit, all the, that's all I did, I was just, like, I, like, like, became him, <laughs> not really, no, that guy's fucking ridiculous, but I didn't know a lot about him, I mean, Buffalo 66 was, like, one of my favorite movies, but I didn't really know a lot about him as a person, I knew he was kind of, like, you know, he was kind of an asshole, but I didn't really know to quite what extent, and that guy's a monster, but that's all I could do, sit there, go through Google Painters, and, re- and research Vincent Gallo for fucking weeks, <laughs> so, like, if you have a question about Vincent Gallo, ask me, and I'll probably know the answer, but fucking, yeah, fucking benzodiazepine withdrawal, that shit is scary, you can have a heart attack, I wasn't supposed to do what I did, if I could have gone back in time, I probably, well, I mean, I, I, I went through it safely, but if I would, if, if someone was like, hey, Alex, should I, uh, quit benzos, like, cold turkey, I'd be like, go to the hospital, dude, you gotta, like, wean yourself off, I mean, seriously, that shit is so fucked up, and, like, I, I didn't expect it to happen, it, that's what pissed me off, is, like, it crept up on me, I, and it, you know what, I asked for it, though, I mean, I know what I was getting myself into, but, like, <laughs> fucking benzos, that shit was a fucking nightmare. <laughs>